Welcome back to Empowered. I'm Elizabeth Namofsky. On today's episode, we're discussing to separate or not, and I'm joined by Samantha Chowski, partner at Carson Chowski Lean, a Toronto boutique law firm, a family law firm. Uh, so, sorry, before we went to break, I had to cut you off uh, and you were talking about how you calculated uh, spousal uh, payments and, and child child payments as well. So please continue. So once the income of the paying spouse, again, on the assumption that we only have one working spouse in this family, once the income of the paying spouse is determined, then child support is calculated first using the child support guidelines. And then we look to spousal support. And so rule of thumb sort of is in a family where you have two parents, two kids, is that approximately 50% or half of the net income available is divided between the spouses. So there is a spousal support guideline calculator as well as a child support uh, one. The spousal support guidelines are not mandatory in the same way as the child support guidelines are, but rule of thumb generally is spousal support will amount to approximately 50% of the net income available. Okay, so it's pretty complicated, but there is a calculation. Um, what I want to do now for the remainder of this uh, of this segment, I want to talk about how do the following situations impact a divorce case, whether it's family violence, abuse, mental health issues, or anything else, because I know that this was very prevalent during COVID lockdown. Yeah, it, it's it's an epidemic, frankly, that we're seeing in the family law bar. Um, we've never before seen this many cases that involve some or all of those factors that you have mentioned. Um, it impacts every single aspect of the family law case. It impacts the parenting arrangements. It impacts the financial arrangements. Um, wh where there's violence, if there are criminal charges, it can it can actually be the impetus for a separation uh, if there are charges made. Typically, the parent who has been charged will not be permitted to return to the house. And so depending whether you're the person who's been charged or not, it, it raises all kinds of added complications. Uh, there is immediate issues that arise with respect to the children because all of a sudden one spouse is out of the house. They're not permitted to see the children. In some cases, um, court is required in right away immediately in order to be able to get parenting time in place. It then raises issues about safety concerns for the children as well if there's been violence perpetrated. Um, uh, with respect to mental health issues, it, it, it impacts, again, it impacts on the children. Um, typically, uh, even parents who have mental health issues can be perfectly capable parents, but sometimes there needs to be additional conditions or uh, restrictions implemented to ensure the safety of the children, because this, the safety has to be the number one concern always when it comes to children. And um, you know, people's rights and entitlements at that point are sort of all thrown out the window because you really have to focus on safety. And these issues can also impact on the finances. Some people who end up getting charged um, will lose their jobs or will have restrictions placed on their ability to earn income. And um, mental health issues can also have that same impact. Uh, so those two issues really do have significant um, impact on child and financial issues. And then there's this whole thorny issue of addictions, which creates all kinds of additional issues. Also, again, parenting, safety concerns, mm -hmm. and then finances, whether you're able to hold down your job in the same way as you were before. Um, the costs associated sometimes with dealing with the addictions becomes a significant factor. Um, and, and something else, I mean, I guess maybe directed more towards women is uh, the fallout from these things. You know, a husband losing his job because he's been convicted often will have an impact on whether women will report or do anything when there is violence in the home, which frankly, from my perspective, is one of the scariest parts of all of this. Women who wow. end up staying in a relationship because of the concerns about the fallout of doing something about it. Uh, Samantha, thank you so much for all of these insights. I know we just scratched the surface, but this is an incredible episode. So thank you so much. 
Thank you for having me, Liz.